Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live daily show on photo and video things and topics here on YouTube every weekday morning, 9.30 a.m. Pacific. If you don't watch live, you should, because it's kind of fun. And then you can do this, and you can chat, and I can see it. And this is kind of an unusual from the phone because I want to test this new microphone setup. So uh, we're actually simultaneously getting dropouts. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna draw this. I'm just gonna take this up here. Okay, we're gonna put this up here, see if it gets any better. Um, we are simultaneously checking, testing multiple things as usual, because why would you just do one when you can do many? So this is the new microphone. This is the Samson mic. We did an unboxing of this last week. We've already linked to it up there. Here's the box that it used to be in. Samson Go Mic Mobile. So the whole idea behind this, it's a digital microphone, uh, 2.4 gigahertz digital. It is obviously a wireless lav mic. Apparently you can also buy a handheld, uh, what do we call that, like an interview type mic, whatever, and you can get one of those for it as well. It's the way it's wired up, uh, it, it can wire straight into your smartphone via the lightning port on an on a iPhone or via USB on an Android phone. That's actually how it is right now. So I'm going to show this to you because here's what I can do is I can just take the phone off of this mount here and I can show you the way this is currently set up. So this is, this is really interesting. Now that I've played with it a little bit, um, I, I have some more information about it. So, okay, this is just a lock for the, for the handle, so don't worry about that thing. Um, out one, two, and headphones. This took a little while to understand what it is, but basically, it depend, if you are going analog out, so you're using the analog output, which I currently have a headphone port plugged into, going into a TRRS port on your smartphone, which would be one that actually has a headphone jack, um, then depending on the wiring configuration, you would set it to one or two. And there's a guide in there, depending on what phone you have, you set it to one or two. And then the headphones one is headphones or line out. So if you're plugging this thing into a digital, proper digital camera, DSLR, DSLM, then that's what you would set it to, and the audio goes out there. I'm using USB audio, right? So the USB audio is going to this wire, which goes out here and plugs into this phone that I'm using right now. When you plug that in, you get digital audio through there automatically. But you simultaneously get audio here, which means if you set this to the headphone jack, you can actually self-monitor. Now, there is a very, very slight delay. I wouldn't want to do it all day long, but it's enough so you can check your levels, which is great. Um, this is the power button and for pairing, and then here you've got a volume control. Now, there is also a levels control on the power on the uh, transmitter. I'll show you that in a second. And then here's what's really, really clever. And I said when I unboxed it, oh my gosh, does it do this? And in fact, it does. So you can connect two microphones simultaneously. So this is channel one, channel two is not being used. You can connect two wireless labs simultaneously and either have them mix in, so they're mixed to mono, so both uh, mics come off both headphones, or to channel mix, sending one microphone to the left and one to the right. So if you want to do more, uh, whoa, getting caught on my wires here. If you want to do some editing later, then uh, that is gonna be the ideal setting for that. So you set it to do it to the left and right channels. If you are just concerned with the immediate live show, then of course you'd want it mixed down because that's going to work out better for most. So there's that. Um, now, the transmitter pack, one little grievance with this, a little bit annoying, is to adjust the output levels on this. There's this tiny little screw thing here. It comes with this tiny little screwdriver, and then you have to adjust the levels. I, it seems a little overly complicated. Why not just have a slider in here? You have a door to protect it, so it's covered. You don't have to worry about bumping it once the door is closed. It make it a lot easier to make adjustments. This seems a little ridiculous. And the fact that you have to have a tool, which you are obviously going to lose, is, um, it's not good. It, I mean, it's just a flathead screwdriver. Tiny, you could use a tiny Phillips as well, but it's a tool. I mean, that's just that seems silly to me. So one of my concerns, one of my early concerns, was because it's digital. My experience with digital is you get a lot of dropouts. And in the beginning of the show, people were already talking about dropouts. Now, maybe that's YouTube. So I, I saw one comment. Someone said, I'm not getting dropouts. Maybe it's YouTube. So for the last few minutes, I've had this up here, which is clearly complete line of sight. I told you guys when I did the unboxing that I reached out to the company and I said, hey, I've had problems with these digital type packs. You can't put it on your back and that to me is pointless. And they said, no, no, ours will be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put this thing back on my back right now where it should be. And you guys are going to tell me if we start getting dropouts. Now, while we're exploring that, there is something else that's really kind of cool that we're, we're dropout. Drop out and immediately started dropping out. <sighs> this is not okay. This is not okay. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll take it outside, get a little range test, get out of the outdoors, uh, out of the indoors, get into the outdoors. We'll try that too. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Um, 
the other thing that's happening right now. So when I fired up YouTube this morning, normally you have two different stream delays for a live show. You have normal and then low latency. Yeah, we're still getting dropouts, so this might be a stream thing. It might be a stream thing, we're still getting dropouts. Okay, okay. So um, let me make sure this thing's on the Wi-Fi. Uh, I can't see that, oh well. So. YouTube just added, I guess over the weekend or some point since Friday, a new feature where normally when you choose your live stream, you have two latencies. You have normal and then short latency. And it says for near real time interaction, best for chats, but possible quality drop or something like that. I've never seen a difference in the quality, so I've always gone with the lower one because I want you guys to be seeing me as close to real time as possible so we can have the chat interaction. Well, now there's a new feature, a new level, which is extreme low latency, I think it was called, something like that. For, for ultra near real time, maybe that's what it was, ultra near real time, you lose the DVR capability. So someone has commented already, they no longer have the DVR. You cannot rewind a live stream. I'm okay with that. Sorry that, that may disappoint some of you, but I would rather have a real time interaction. However, it would appear that we're getting some dropouts, which we can only attribute to that. I mean, well, I shouldn't say only, I mean, it could be anything else, but uh, likely it's that. So. Hopefully it's not this. So we're going to run some more tests with this. Let me see what's going on in the comments here, and then we're going to take this outside and run around a little bit and see what happens. Uh, so Quentin's saying it's the whole stream dropping, not just the audio. That's good. Um, video drop, not audio. Interesting. Sync is back. Okay, so someone saw it go out of sync. So some of these things could, again, just be the YouTube, the new YouTube feature. Uh, Burns Text says YouTube made some updates and they're causing stream issues. There we go. Confirming that. Only had one stream delay or dropout since the start for me, YouTube, not audio. Okay, so got, you people are getting different experiences, which is, which is interesting. That really says that it's YouTube and not the mic. Okay, it's the stream, not the audio. Someone else is confirming. Alrighty. Okay, good. Well, in that case, I'm going to put this thing back on my belt where it belongs because that's where we want this thing to be. And then let's take this pack outside and see what we can do. I can't go too far out because... So I'll take the camera right outside the door so that'll still have good Wi-Fi, and then I'll walk around from there. Sound good? I'm going to leave the headphones behind because I don't need this. And oops, try not to break my rig while I do this. Come on. Oh, one of here, I'm going to show you this, actually. One of my other, two other complaints that I've got so far about this device. Let me pull this thing off here so I can show it to you this way again. Okay, so this thing here is the brace. I'm trying to get this. It's going, we're going sideways here, people. Whoa, can't. What does it say? Orientation locked? Uh, okay, so sorry, I'm, I'm seeing messages on my screen. There's this bracket here that holds the phone, so there's the top of it. If you look at it from the side, it's got this little bit of an angle down, but it's not enough of an angle. Even when I push this down as hard as I can and tighten it, it still feels like the phone, if I pull it a little bit, it's going to slide out. This should have ridges. I don't want to say that it should be a deeper angle because then it would start to block the screen, but it should have bumps, big U-shaped bumps in there to really grab onto the phone, on the bottom as well. The other thing, and this is just bizarre, so look at the bottom, I'm trying to get the seat and see it. Um, here we go. Look at this bottom plate here. See, it's got a quarter 20, it's, it's screwed into the tripod plate, so it's a little quarter 20 thing, right? Well, by default, the plate that was on there was not that one. It was, it was, it was, sorry. There we go. I'm not going to take it out of the bag, but it was this one right here, which you see those two tiny little holes in there? That's two tiny little screws that I had to take out, which it did not include a tool for. It took me forever to find a screwdriver that would fit. And the only difference between this plate and the one that I replaced it with is that this one doesn't have a quarter 20 screw on the bottom. And it is therefore ever so slightly thinner than this one. But come on, who cares? Make it thicker, put the quarter 20, and leave that as the only one. But here's the really, really bizarre thing. The, re the depth of the screw hole in there is insufficient. So, sorry, I gotta wiggle this thing around and get this back into place now, put that back on. The depth of that screw hole for the quarter 20 hole is insufficient, meaning that the tripod plate, the tripod screw on the tripod plate would far enough. So like if this is the hole, I'm exaggerating, but if that was the depth of it, you want it to go in all the way. So you need a hole like this, but it's like this. So it hits the top and it can't go in all the way. And it doesn't say anything about this in the manual, but it, the device comes with this little bag full of weird little accessories that I haven't found listed in the manual, including spacers. So it's almost like they built this thing and then realized, and did the manual and then realized, oh crap, we didn't make the quarter 20 deep enough. Let's put some spacers in the box to save our bacon. That little piece there needs a redesign. So 
maybe Rev 2, but Samsung, that's kind of that's kind of cheating. All right, take a quick look at the comments, then we're going to take this thing outside, see if there's anything else to notice in here. Oh, look, it's Betty. Uh, streaming buffering, getting a lot of buffering, so again, we're probably going to blame that on the, um, on the new YouTube thing. Maybe I shouldn't have tried that today. Oh, well. All right, let's take this thing outside and see what we got. Incidentally, folks, at... 10 a.m., so at 10 a.m. Pacific time, so in 17 minutes, uh, On One is doing an event, a live event, about their uh, newest version of On One photo. So I'm going to be ending the show before that because I want to watch. All right, let me just take a look at the camera position here. Well, here we go. Here's, here's, look, isn't it beautiful? And you know what? It's been worse. It's been way worse. Way worse. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to lock this. Uh, Ryan, why don't you come over here and watch from here and make sure that I stay in frame and... Uh, in fact, Ryan, why don't you bring your headphones with you? Grab those headphones. You can plug in here, and Ryan is going to signal me if I drop out. And we'll see what's happening here. I'm going to wait for him to come up here and find this out. All right, here, just give me that. Uh, plug that in up here, out on there. All right, so Ryan's plugged in on ears. He should be able to hear me pretty well. And so I'm going to try not to get hit by cars. I'm going to cross the street here. Still waiting for Ryan to untangle himself and find his ears. There he is. He is now on ears. Still time now because. I don't know what that means. Dropped out peaking, don't know. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross the street here. So my pack is on my back. Here, let's reveal this thing. Pack's on the back. And uh, hopefully with any luck. With any luck, we've still got audio. Ryan, are we, I can't hear you, buddy. You gotta give me a thumbs up. I get a 100 foot range. 100 foot range, I think it was, line of sight. What's, uh, is this, I have no idea. I'm so bad at guessing range. Is this 100 feet? No, nowhere near, is it? That's like 50 feet. So I should be able to be over here. So if I keep going over here, spiders, uh, what do we got? Are we, are we dropping? Are we sounding all right here? Are we, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, I'm gonna put this thing back on my back. It's, it's inconsistent, Ryan is saying, okay? I'm gonna put that back on my back there and let's see if this is any different. So now I'm here and I'm, I'm walking and I'm doing a show and turning and going to suffocate and die. Um, yeah. I don't know. You guys tell me. Are we going to come in and take a look at the comments? See what people say? But isn't this lovely weather we're having? Oh. Is this actually... Look, it's, you can almost see blue there. See, now it's good. And it's, now it's good. Now it's good. It's still... We might have some interference. We might have some interference. Well, yeah, but interference is part of what the mic does. I mean, you got to... You got to... Here, take that back. Um, you got to not have the interference. Here, this is the other reason we're not doing the show from the studio today, because... I started setting up the new audio interface, and it is not yet set up. So I couldn't go live from there for one or two. All right, guys. Well, that's that. Let me take another quick look at the comments, and then we will end today's show on that happy note. Let's see here. And close the door. Keep the smoke out. All right. Last look at the comments. <clears throat> uh, people talking about audio breaking up. Fresh air. Ha, jiggy dee. That is no fresh air. Now getting audio dropouts. Audio dropped. Gone. Sounds like you're cutting out. So lots of cutting out, dropping out when I walked across the street. Of course, anybody watching this later will be able to, um, to hear that as well. Comment box stopped working, had to refresh browser. Oh, that's weird. As soon as I spin around so the pack is behind me, the audio starts breaking up badly, says Quentin. <sighs> All right. Uh, Andre says, just a still picture, no sound. So we definitely got some interference there. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Birdstick says, I know there's FCC crap to deal with when it comes to these wireless devices, and they're limited to the strength of the radios they use unless they pay up. So this one is supposed to have a 100-foot range, right? Let me double-check that. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. Somewhere on here. Oh, this opens up. Here we go. Uh, yep, get up to 100 foot of wireless operation from the included belt pack transmitter and lavalier microphone. Its limiting feature ensures you always have the clearest audio signal possible. So I guess they're saying 100 feet is limiting because often you should get much more than that. But they just designed that way so that you get a better quality signal. But apparently that is not what we're seeing. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we will have to... Uh, we'll do another test with this microphone. Not through here. We'll do it through... How are we going to do this? I'll find a way to do it so that it's back to kind of normal for everything else so we're not getting... We're not testing multiple things at once, changing too many things at a time. 
hopefully that does it. Well, anyway, hope this was interesting. Uh, and obviously sound quality. You know, how's sound quality? How's background noise compared to what you guys are used to? And, you know, you guys have been hearing the Sennheiser for years now. Well, yeah, it actually has. It's been over a year. You guys have been hearing the Sennheiser for quite a while, so you're used to that audio quality. How does this sound? Is it better? Is it worse? Is there more background noise, less background noise? How does it sound to what you guys are used to hearing? All right, we'll leave it at that. And uh, I'm going to walk out of here and give 20 seconds for the little things to fly up on screen. Take care, y'all. See you next time. And don't forget to watch the on one thing. Bye.